This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. What about Unforgiven 06? Was that pretty good? It's a raw only pay per view. No, no, tell me about it. Well, let's talk about it. Bridgeport, Connecticut. How far is how far is that from where you live now? About 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so this would have been a great. Well, at this point in 06, you're living in, in Houston, Texas. So that was a long ways from me at that point yeah. in 06, yeah. Well, you got a big crowd here. I wasn't even paying attention at that point. 5,700 people. 06, probably not a banner year for the company, right? Depends on what you consider banner. Oh, sales, merchandise, buy rates. It was good. Uh, the opening segment features Lita throwing a spinner belt into the Long Island sound from the ceiling comes a new belt. It's the rated R belt for edge. Whose idea was, uh, was it for edge to get his own belt? Is this just a great way to expand merchandising opportunities? Well, God, Cena got his own belt. Why can't edge have his own belt? And he was the rated R superstar. Well, I just want to backtrack sure. because we've talked about the spinner before. And I think the traditionalist wrestling fan and you hated it. But the business part of you is like, fuck, we're selling a lot of these. This was a good idea. It's a great idea. Yeah. So why not do one for Edge, right? Yeah. And it kind of gives individuality a little bit to Edge. And Edge was uh, kind of at the height of his healdom at this point. And it worked. It fit. Overall, you know, I understand that everything in wrestling changes. And, and we don't really talk about current stuff. But before you went back, the company adopted just the logo as the belt. So like the, the entire center plate of the championship is just the company logo. And I get from a mainstream standpoint, why you would want that, but does a little bit of you, the old school wrestling fan miss the look and feel of a traditional wrestling belt. I like the NWA world heavyweight championship belt. that was worn by Luthez, Gene Kaniski, Pat O'Connor, daughter Funk junior. Yeah. That's your favorite belt ever, right? Ever. And as best we remember, you thought Larry Madison had it once upon a time. I did. Hmm. You know where it is now? I do not. If there is anyone out there that knows where it is, then uh, slide my DMs because Bruce wants Slide in his. Connie's DMs. <laughs> I'll make guy. sure you get it. <laughs> yeah. I have no uh, interest I would, in that. Uh, but I, I don't want any reproductions. I, don't, I want the, the belt with the leather, with the gold, with the everything. And I know the crown's not there anymore. It broke off sometime during Dory's reign. That makes it cooler to me. I like when they have a little use on them. Yeah, but I like the little crown on it. Well, we can get you a little crown. Yeah, but it's a, I want the crown, and the crown's gone somewhere. It's gone forever. So you now you just want to fuss? Kind of. Uh, Jeff Hardy and Edge uh, have a match here, and it ends when Lita interferes, and it turns into a Cena-Edge brawl, which ends with Edge getting tossed into the Long Island Sound. <laughs> Of all the places to take a dip, this oh. one, this is one of the worst. Absolutely. And, and actually, I think Edge still looks at me to this day going, yeah, man, I think it was, you threw me in the Long Island Sound. I didn't ah, throw you anywhere. So, yeah, that's pretty gross, man. Absolutely, disgustingly gross. Right off the pier. It was tremendous. Not knowing what was below. I mean, we had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was disgusting is what it was. Well, it was disgusting, but also, you know, you, here's the fear. And you, you can look get at, sick from getting in there. Right? Yeah. You can get sick from getting in there, but you also don't know, like if something can float up and be underneath you. Wait, what do you say? <laughs> like a car or anything else. It just, because there's just so much crap in there. So we actually had, you know, like, divers and people making sure that was safe making sure it was as safe as could be but then you're rely you're doing it live so if something happens it happens so if he goes off in the wrong spot sorry did he get sick no so he got dirty he was stinky probably had to throw that gear away yeah hey hey it's conrad thompson thanks for checking out the podcast here on youtube be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now if you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt it's not a matter of if i can save you money it's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com